Hey y'all, and welcome to Skyrim Scripting. This episode is dedicated to a very, very special man who we all know very, very well. You may love him, you may hate him. It's the Nord male in the iron armor. Ta-da! COC guy, he's lovely. Uh, he's got this gray, lovely face. He's got this stupid axe. My favorite is the stupid, stupid helmet. He's a great guy, right? Everybody loves this guy. I like the gray face the best. I think that's my favorite part about this jackass. I hate this guy. I'm so done with this guy. I'm just done with him. Like, like I can't even, I can't do it anymore. I'm done. I'm done. Like, if I, if I have to be this guy forever, I'm done with modding. Skyrim scripting is over. So, instead, as you can imagine, I made a mod so that my starting character is a cute Breton girl instead who's got some chaos hair, we got some of that bouncing around hair, we got some heels, we got some, uh, we got some dress there. It's cute. It's fucking cute. It is a race menu preset, so it's really whatever you want. Install your mods, um, this is some uh, Apache Divine Elegance store dress here. I got some, uh, I think these are ATA heels here. It's adorable. Get your badass male armor or your badass chick armor or your cute dresses or your whatever you want and make that your starting character. Now, I got a little bit of bad news, but then I got some good news. Here is the bad news. Okay, the bad news uh, you can see here. We're going to COC into Riverwood. Take a look, see. Well, that was fun. You want to do it again? Let's do it again. That was neat. It was all kinds of neat, right? So that's the bad news. Where do you want to go? Let's go to uh, let's go to the Solitude Docks. Hopefully it's not raining too hard. Is it Docks 02 or Docks 01 that I like? Docks 02 is like way up in the mountain. That was weird, right? Um, but we got our cool chip down by the docks. So that's the bad news. Um, can we be on this barrel? I want to be on the barrel. I'm kind of on the barrel. We're gonna fall into water. That'll do. So, that's a pretty cool shot. That's the bad news. And here's why. But I'll just tell you first if your favorite character that you want to play is a Khajiit or an Argonian, you're not gonna need that. You're not gonna need that one to two seconds of weird whenever you COC into the game. So let's just get started. Let's just have uh, let's just have this be your character. Let's let's make your character for you. You can have multiple characters if you want. Um, there's different ways of doing it. Um, it. Here's why we got to do that one to two seconds of nonsense when you coc in for it to work. So here's our friend Grayface, wonderful friend Grayface. I hate that axe. I hate it so much. I always click into this window and he opens, he grabs his axe and I hate it. I hate that fucking axe. I literally have had a mod that all it does, all it does is take away his axe. That's all it does. Um, I don't have that anymore because instead I got a mod with this cute dress and these cute heels and you can give her whatever you want. We can make it so that you can configure that. We can do whatever. Here's why you gotta put up with that one second of nonsense. The only way that I have discovered and I have looked a lot of fixing this damn gray face is by going to show race menu. I don't know another way. If there's an SKSE plugin developer out there who knows how to basically trigger the same action without opening up this stupid thing, please let me know. Because here's one of the major downsides of opening up this menu. Once you open it up, the only way out of it is R. You can't escape does bug kiss. You gotta hit R to accept, at least on PC. Then you gotta hit OK. Um, if you don't have better message box controls, I don't think you can hit enter. You gotta use your mouse. So 
We need better message box controls for any of this to work. So you can hit OK. Then you gotta put in the damn name and then hit OK again. So the way that we make this work, the only way to make this work is we automate it. In those two seconds, which I'll show you again, I'm going to show you this because we're going to make it. We're going to make it together and it's no big deal. It's totally fine. It's going to be super duper easy and you're going to have your own COC character in no time. So this is going to do three things. Here's COC Riverwood. Let's sit back and watch it again. It makes kind of a cool sound. So that did three things in those one to two seconds. Um, opened up race menu. Closed it by doing R, enter, enter. That's a R to finish, enter to say yes, I really want to, and enter to save the player name. Uh, so it opens it up. Um, then it gets rid of all of her existing gear, the stupid iron stuff and everything like that. And it gives her this cute dress and cute shoes. And then it loads a race menu preset. Which is awesome, because you can just go into show race menu. Uh, if I change this preset to like this chick, and I save. I don't want to save yet, I want to save it as a preset. I'm going to save this preset as not morale per, I'll do it as morale per 2. B e for accept. Um, now you got that preset, and now I can do this. COC and Riverwood. I hope this works. <laughs> Ta da! Oh man. Did not load the right preset. I used the wrong race. Oh no, I forgot to put the preset that we just saved in the right place. Okay, and we did morale per two as our preset. Took us like a whole two seconds. All we did was click on presets. It looked cute and we said save. And uh, look, now you got your starting character. Ta-da, ta-da. And you can change all the gear and whatever you want. Um, you could even do like whatever you want. You could make it so that if you COC to Solitude Winking Skeever, it gives you one character, like as a starting character. If you COC to Rift and B and Barb, it gives you a different character, a thief or something, with a bunch of cool thief gear, and you could have some DX assassin, CBB, cool, cute-ass clothes or whatever. Um, whatever you want. So, here we go. It's a cute girl. Let's make you a character, okay? Now, you can have multiple, and there's a couple different ways to have multiple. But go ahead and open up Creation Kit. So, you gotta have Creation Kit installed, okay? Gotta have Creation Kit installed. If you don't, go ahead and watch one of my Creation Kit episodes. I got a couple. Just, uh, can you search my channel for, uh, is that, can you do that as a thing? Just go find one of them. Creation Kit Skyrim scripting. I got like three. Uh, just, let's call this my character. Now, if you've got multiple characters and you want to COC into the game as different ones to test different things, for example, like a thief for your thief and your blah for your blah to test different mods that you're making or whatever, and the way that you want to switch them up is by in Vortex or Mod Organizer 2, disabling and enabling them, then go ahead and give this a character name because you'll have multiple of these. I'm just gonna call it my character because we are going to use the same mod for multiple. I'm just gonna show you. And um, yeah, did I already mention that for Khajiits, you totally don't need to do any of that race menu nonsense. So we'll make a Khajiit first. So open up Creation Kit. If you don't have that white box over there, um, then you don't have the SSE Creation Kit fixes installed and you need them. Go get them. Creation Kit is a disaster without it. So we're going to need to load Skyrim. I'm going to hit the OK button. Boop. Because Skyrim is where the player is. And we're going to go edit the player. Yeah! As soon as this finishes loading, we'll save just so that we've got a save. I'm just going to call it my character.esp. Save it whatever you want, like Bob, Sally, whatever. Whatever you want your character to be. So I'm just going to put my character. 
Now what you want to do is you want to go to this filter up here and you want to type player. Loud ass car driving by. Drive by faster instead of less loud car. Uh, type player into the filter and then uh, if you click on the top level actors you'll get nothing. Bubkiss. Da -da -da -da. But if you expand it and you click on the actor right below that, boop, you'll get everything. And so these are all the player actors that all the actor things that have player in the name. And you want player. Its form ID is 07. I know in game uh, the player ID is 14. I don't know. Uh, but you can find them because they are a they're named prisoner. They have a Nord race and whatever else. So they're just called player and go ahead and open them up. Here they are. You can click down here for head to see their head. And there they are. Oh, geez, that's fast. Look up their nose. That is the default male Nord face right there. Now here it has a proper skin color. Uh, Creation Kit renders that fine. But in the game, you just don't get head texture whatevers until you run Creation Kit, which uh, until you run Race Menu, which really hope that there's someone out there who knows how to make it automated with SKSE without opening up the menu. But opening up the menu is not that bad. And you don't have to if you want a Khajiit or an Argonian. So go over here, change name to whatever you want. I'm going to make my Mrow Purr. Mrow Purr. Short name Purr. Don't change player. No, 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 no. But you can change the name to whatever you want. Uh, now, if you aren't already on this traits tab, like if it opened up to some tab over here, like character gen parts or um, attack data or whatever, then you want to use these little doodads right here, which scroll, scroll all the way over to the left so that you can go to traits. This is where you select your race. Um, I, uh, let's see here. I, I don't recommend being a cow. Don't be a cow. I, I can't recommend that. I don't think it's very, I don't think it's very, very good for you. So pick a more humanoid race. I, I also don't recommend a troll. They got too many eyes. They're like spiders. Those little horns, they're, they're gross. Don't be a troll. So be a Breton or a Red Guard or an Imperial or, or whatever. Um, let's go with, um, we're going to do Khajiit to start with. So there's our little Khajiit. If you don't see them, then click on full right here. Boop, 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 boop. And you always click on full to reset it. You can switch to head with head. There's our Khajiit. Do, 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 do. Cool. Now, for presets and stuff like that, we're just going to use race menu to set that, and we're going to save a preset. So you don't need to worry about what this dude looks like here. I and mean, you could use these little tabby doodads and go over to, like, gen morphs and give them crazy stuff. I don't know how to make it update. Uh, whoop, whoop. There we go. Some of this stuff is updating. Yeah, head and mouth. Yeah. You could do stuff in here, but uh, don't. Uh, and I can keep what I just did because who cares? It's going to use the preset that we're going to save. So what we want, we're going to go back over to traits. We select our race. Uh, select the cheek or not the cheek. Um, we'll make our Kaji the dude. So the Kaji will be a dude. Well, the name is Mrauper, so I'll go with the chick. Cheeky cat. Kajita. So, not the male even tone voice. Uh, you want to change the voice type for show. I'm going with female Khajiit for this. Um, this is one of the gotchas of using like change race and stuff without using race menu for it. Um, I believe race menu, in my experience, will change the voice type when you change the race using race menu specifically. Um, I think. Suck if it doesn't. So here you go. Pick that. We got our Khajiit. Save. Let's make sure that the plugin is on. So in Mod Organizer 2, if you're in Mod Organizer 2, boop, make sure to turn that on. 
and Vortex is probably already on for you, but make sure that you've got it turned on. And let's go into game. Let me make sure I have my previous character off, and I do. Mm -hmm. Oh, and they've still got that iron stupid gear. We'll give them different gear in two seconds, okay? Give them different gear. Uh, including whatever gear you want from mods. She's got stupid stuff. She's got stupid gear, but we got a Khajiit at least. Da -da 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 -da. Hey, look, it's a Khajiit. It's not that stupid guy. It's already better. It's already better because it's not that stupid guy. So we're going back into creation kit. Load up my character while I drink some tea. I need more tea. Hmm. Should I pause and make more tea? All right, good news is I got more tea. The bad news is it's too hot to drink. And the other bad news is, uh, the hell were we doing? Gear, 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 gear. Let's go to the player. Cool, cool, we got them. We're gonna head on over to that inventory tab. So right there. Again, if you can't see it, use these little doodads to scroll around and find it. So here's the little inventory one, cool. Now if we click on full, we'll see the Khajiit with this stupid, stupid helmet. Stupid, stupid helmet. Um, cool. So, you can just select a different default outfit. There's like two approaches here, and we're going to do both. One is just dressing them this way. I guess there's three. One is just choosing a default outfit. Two is just choosing specific clothes from the Skyrim game or the other masters, Dawnguard, Dragonborn, Dawn, Wood Hearthfires, whatever, um, and giving them to the player. Um, I think they'll put them on. I'll have to be careful and stop the stream so that we don't end up with a naked cat, except I think my cats all got, all my people got underwear and stuff on. Um, and then we're going to show you how to do it with your own stuff because that's probably what you really want, right? You want your own stuff, not this nonsense. But here we go. Uh, we can just select one of these. Atronach flame outfit. They're probably naked. Cool. They don't have a head. Nice. Oh, and they are wearing their naked clothes. I'm glad that their clothes exist. Uh, beggar outfit. You're going to have to do this again as soon as you choose one. Um, one of them has random stuff, which I really like, except it doesn't have shoes, which is unfortunate. It's like a sailor clothes rand. I like that one. Uh, keep clicking this and it'll change it. But the problem is they ain't got feet. They got no feet. I don't know if they'll fit on boots if I give them boots. So let's get rid of all this nonsense. Just click this stuff and delete, 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 delete. Just select it and hit delete. Select it, hit delete. Can you do multiple at a time? Delete. Sure can. Delete. Great. Now we're going to add new, and it's going to add like an AAA grant int light hunt bright something, which is not what you want. So you go here to object, and here's all the objects. I know, it's super, super uh, intuitive, right? It's not. But now we're going to go and find something. I'm looking for boots. Come on, give me boots. Clothing. Bartender, clothing boots one. I gave her some boots and in the little thing, she's still not wearing them. Our, our script can uh, put them on manually. So she's gonna get rid of those boots. Uh, do you wanna give her a random sailor outfit, but then we'll also get her boots? Sure, let's do that. Um, sleep outfit, whatever. We're gonna give her custom clothes in a second. Don't worry about it. So let's make a player script so that we can capture load games and capture the mod installation, most importantly, the first time you load the game, which for COC, it's probably all you really care about. You're probably not loading the game much, saving it, but you may be. Um, so to do that, we're gonna need a quest. So go to character, go to quest, and right click anywhere and hit new. And we're going to call it my character quest. 
you call it whatever the name of your character is quest and then we hit okay right there way behind me before we do anything else and we reopen it so let me go to my character we're going to quest aliases right click new reference we're going to call it player ref and it's going to be a specific reference we've done this so many times before fill type specific reference select forest reference so any it'll populate player right there Ooh, look at that green screen insanity that was fun Ooh, i'm doing magic um nice and now above my head we want to go to add for scripts we're going to ask scripts so that we can do stuff like give them whatever clothes we gosh darn want to right you can use that little inventory box because it's really convenient in some ways but you can also do this so we're going to call this my character no, I'm going to go with player script. You can just call it my character. You can do whatever, but it has to extend a reference alias. I'm just going to say represents the player character. You don't have to put anything in that box. Cool, cool, cool. And uh, now let's look for some boots. Let's get it. Let's get a go some boots. Boots, boots, boots. We're going to all ammo leather boots oh there's all kinds of boots nightingale boots right click preview and you'll get the preview of stuff Ooh, that's that's kind of nice i'm already down with that let's do that um run the simulator boop boop the boots bounce very nice very nice thank you boots so what we're gonna do is i'm just gonna use this thing's form id okay if we go back to our player script so we go to character quest we put my character back in here whatever the name of your character was character and then we go back here into our quest aliases to our player ref and we go to our script and we right click edit source uh, we can put some stuff in here to give our player these boots so i might open up visual studio code but maybe let's do that later um where are we give me give me give me creation kit where's that window there it is. Uh, I'm just going to open up Notepad so I can make this big for the screencast. Because um, this code is really easy. Because all we're going to do is say, put this up here so you can see all of it. Event on init. Remember the casing doesn't matter. Everybody's got preferences. Um, my preferences are weird. Um, in my scripts it always looks like this because I'm an insane person. Um, that's what the uh, Sky UI people do too. On in it, it doesn't matter. We want those boots. So we're going to say form boots equals game get form. And we're going to put in the ID of the boots. We know bad. The boots are 483C1. 483C1. We got some boots. Uh, we by default are going to have a random sailor outfit, but let's equip some boots. Let's say, um, um, let's see for a reference alias, I, I don't have Visual Studio Code, so I don't have the completion. I think you say dot get reference actor. Ah, it's not reference actor, it's actor reference. Cool, 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 cool. Uh, that'll give you the actor and then you can just say dot equip item boots and now they'll have some boots which is great and now let's just compile this oh and if you want you can uh this will put up in the top left corner of the game in the debug notification area like added boots you can say comma let's move this over uh, a b silent equals true and that won't add that little notification. Uh, so I'm going to put this into Creation Kit. You can just be typing it this whole time in that little box, wherever that little box is. Here it is. I'm going to Control S to save this, see if it compiles OK. It totally compiles OK. So I guess let's go in game. Cool, I just went into game. I actually haven't gone into third person, so I don't know what they look like yet. Uh, there's obviously a Khajiit. Uh, they got the sailor arm uh, gear here. Cool. And they're not barefoot. They got boots. They got boots. They got our boots. If we look in our inventory, uh, oh, 
his clothes. Why not the boots? Oh, because we didn't actually turn on that mod, maybe? Oh, well, this is the weirdest thing I've ever seen. Um, if you go to player show inventory, the Nightingale boots totally got added and they're worn. Because she's wearing the boots. You can see she's wearing some damn boots. She's not, she's got boots. It's hard to see, but, you know, she got boots. She got boots. Where's your boots? There's the Nightingale boots. It's the same boots. It's right there. It's the boots. But, uh, this shows them. Uh, even says, says my name. It says morale per has two items. Whatever. Um, I bet it's something weird about that random sailor armor. I bet it's got some scripts or something associated with it. Um, so what do we want to do? I think I want to get you... Uh, sh what should we do first? Should we get you your own items or should we make it work with non-Khajiit? Because here's what happens if you try and use like, let's make a Breton chick. We'll go back to the player and instead of them being Khajiit, don't forget to change their voice. Um, let's give them some uh, skeleton imperial armor. Oh, she's just wearing nothing there. Let's give her some Thalmor stuff. Sure, that's fine. Traits. Breton race. Voice type. Female. I don't know what the default is for a Breton's. I'll just give her a Nord. We can make her sultry. Um, cool, 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 cool. Um, let's go in the game. I'm gonna give her something without a hood on it. Thieves Guild Viper. Does Viper have a hood? No. Cool. Alright, in the game as a default Breton chick. Here we go. Oh, those colors. Not pointing at our boobs intentionally. I'll point past the boobs if my green screen will let me. Arms. Face. Arms. Face. That's no good. That's no good. But if we just show race menu. And then peace out. I think that's better, right? Was it broken? No, I don't know. It's hard to tell. I jumped back into the game. It looks maybe fine. Normally you'd have the, um, it's hard to tell with the armor in, in between. Um, you know, let's keep her standing there. I don't know. But either way, we want a preset and we want to save a preset. So. Let's do that. Let's do a preset and then we'll see if we need to use the show race menu because specifically for Breton women right now, it's looking kind of fine, but we'll see if that's still the case with the preset. So let's go ahead and save ourselves a preset. Open up the console, show race menu. Uh, pick something, whatever you want. You know that, was it the first girl who's got, yeah, I like that one like that one. I'm gonna pick some cool eyes. We could do the one that's like uh, half messed up. We could have like cat eyes in there. And that one's half, half messed up. We could totally for sure know that we picked the right one. Um, I'll pick the cat eyes. Let's grab some hair real quick. Here, I'll, I'll play with her, her appearance. Okay, I'm pretty happy with this. Uh, I got my favorite hair. Uh, we'll definitely know whether or not the preset loaded, right? For sure. So we'll go to presets. We're near that five. Uh, I can name it um, my character, whatever you want. Hit enter, hit E to accept. 
cool and now we can peace out of the game what we're gonna do is we're going to update our script the one that gives our character the boots uh, which we don't need to give him the boots anymore so let me open that up oh, wrong one here it's on the wrong screen here's the boots forget the boots we are going to use race menu to load the preset so here's what you're going to do you need race menu so not the built-in one you need the uh to download race menu from nexus so get race menu uh, once you've got that a lot of folks have it uh, you could go ahead and open it up and find it in your vortex or your nexus or your mod organizer too uh, it's got this bsa file if you wanted to you could open it up and get the scripts out of there but what you should do is head on over to the nexus for um let's play some oblivion That's nice. That's nice. We're not gonna play the game, we're gonna play the music. Uh, race menu, Nexus. You're gonna head on over to files and uh, ignore this one. I mean, make sure you have this one downloaded. You gotta have that one. Uh, but then go to the modders package. You're a modder. Download the modders package manual download so that one is just a manual download you're going to save that one you're going to open it up and what you're going to find inside of it is a source directory it's got an esp you don't care about that because we're not making a race menu plugin it's got this scripts folder so we're going to want to import this um folks who just dump everything into the data directory and use vortex uh, you can just move this whole source scripts directory into your um, data folder. You can put these PSC scripts wherever your 13,910 PSC scripts are in your Skyrim Special Edition data folder under source scripts or script source. So what we're going to do, however, is we're going to extract them into their own little folder. And uh, we could treat this as a mod. So we're going to make a mod called race menu SDK. And open up that folder. Open up the uh, folder we extracted everything from. And just go ahead and move everything over. Cool, and you can keep the plugin template or you can get rid of it. You can get rid of it so it doesn't load anything. So here we go. And now what that means is you will be able to compile scripts that use things like charge gen and all of these other things i should already have this loaded up in my um thing here if i don't let me load it up uh, you're probably not using papyrus project files but if you are here's what i'm going to do um, i already have this extracted into my ooh, into my imports folder as race menu sdk now i want to go back into my scripts and i type char it should complete gen in a second. Cool. And now I can just hit load preset. And if I hover over it, it says loads a preset on the player, loads the preset from this directory. So you need to make sure that your JSLOT file is here. Um, for Mod Organizer 2 folks, just be careful because what you just did using race menu probably put everything into your overwrite folder. So if you don't know where your overwrite folder is, uh, go ahead and go to settings, paths, and it is this overwrite folder right here. Um, there you go. Go there, find it, and it will have a SKSE directory with a plugins folder with a charge end folder with a presets folder with a my character my character js lot so what we're going to want to do is we're going to want to go to our our character mod be this your bob mod or your sally mod or your whatever we can go ahead and open that up Oblivion was a little bit too loud for us Boop. 
So for me, it's my character. I'm just going to drag and drop the SKIC folder from my overwrite folder in there. Um, folks who are using Vortex and just dump everything in the data directory, just go to Skyrim Special Edition uh, Data, look for an SKIC folder with a plugins folder, with a charge end folder, with a presets folder. There may be a bunch of other stuff in your SKIC uh, folder. So you can, in your mod, just go ahead and create the same directory structure if you want to. The important thing is making sure that the, um, like I'll delete this fuzz road uh, thing making sure that whatever you named your preset, that it's there, because we're going to load it. So ours is called my character. So all we need to do in our code is we just call chargen load preset my character. So let's do that like, let's do it 10 seconds after the game loads so that we can kind of watch it happen. And we'll see if it works um, without opening up race menu. That would be sweet. Um, I specifically have a Breton chick and I couldn't get it working. I ended up with a great face when I did this. But if not, then that's so cool. I might want to try the other races. So let's wait for it. So much rain here. Um, I don't think she should still have a scar. Um, done. I feel like that fixed subtle. But where's her uh, tattoo? Oh, the right character? I don't know. Let me fix this. Oh, you're gonna love this. This is a great demonstration. It's a great demonstration. I wish this were a little bit easier. Um, it is really easy, but there's quirks and I just, I'm here to show you the quirks because you're gonna run into it. So remember, we uh, have the default Breton female, okay? And in like 10 seconds, it's going to load the uh, preset that we saved in race menu that had that like, uh, gray hair, the ponytail, and had this cool um, uh, tattoo-y thingy. That's not it. That's not her at all. So here's what we're going to do. We're going to go back into the game. We'll have that Oblivion music. Come on, game, go faster. Go faster, faster, faster. And before the 10 seconds hit, we're gonna go into the race menu real quick. And we're just gonna do R, enter, enter, so that we're out. Now we still have the default girl. Now watch. Works. You do just, you gotta open up race menu first. It's really obnoxious. So let's get this working. Let's get it working so that when we jump into the game, that girl is there. So we've got our code. Right here, I've got it open up in uh, Visual Studio Code, but you could have this open up in that little box in Creation Kit, um, wherever we were in Creation Kit, um, for your quest, quest alias, player script. Right click edit source on that. So uh, we don't need the boots. We'll come back to having some different gear. So we can kind of load this right away, except we know that we want to open up the menu for the raise menu first. So you can actually just type game, um, show race menu, ta-da, and you're done, sort of. It'll open it up, but it'll open it up. And now you're stuck with the stupid thing opened up and you gotta hit R, enter, enter. And to be able to hit enter, enter, you need to make sure that you have installed 
better message box controls. This just isn't gonna work, I don't think, without better message box controls, because we can just hit R, enter, enter, which is great. So we're literally just gonna say input.tap key R. Um, you can't put R, you have to go find the DX scan code, and you can find that on the input script page. So we're gonna go to the input script. And it has the DX stan scan codes. Um, this is the top row on the keyboard, the next row, the next row, just for browsing it. It's a QWERTY keyboard and it goes down the list like that for the most part. So uh, R is on the first row, it's number 19. And then we just do enter, enter. Uh, enter is, where are you at, yo? Enter is 28. And now you are gonna have to wait a little bit between these. The game will CTD if you just add a bunch of tap keys at it. Uh, so what you do is you do utility dot wait menu mode. This is critical because utility wait doesn't work when a menu such as race menu is open. Wait menu mode does. The timer will run properly. Uh, so just do like a tenth of a second. Uh, here's what I'm thinking. Uh, we'll show the raise menu, we'll hit accept, uh, we'll hit press enter. Um, this one might need to be a teeny bit longer, so uh, a fifth of a second. Uh, enter, enter, and then uh, let's wait a half a second. No, let's just see if it works a tenth of a second to load that preset like immediately. Let's see if it works. I don't know. We might need to add, like, have those times be a little bit longer between the key presses. Obviously, you want them squished as much as possible so that whenever you see COC into the game, you don't have to deal with all this nonsense. So now, hopefully, you'll see what we saw at the beginning of the episode. <laughs> you wrote, my friend. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven lines of code. And you've got your own COC character, which loads a race menu preset, which you can make whatever you want. Whatever you want. Um, you can even do things like tap keys to actually change the race. You can uh, use the keys to tap and move around the race menu. Uh, that only works. Um, it works for both the vanilla race menu and the one for the race menu mod. Um, but only the race menu mod lets you, via the keyboard, change your gender, so far as I've been able to see. So, yeah. Let's give you gear, and then let's call it. Let's just give you gear and call it. Uh, so for gear, here's my recommendation. Um, just go to grab Add item menu. Let's open this up on Nexus. So grab add item menu and note of course you could add spells too. You can give your girl whatever spells you want and if you don't want healing and flames you can go into creation kit, go and uh, take away healing flames from that girl. Um, whatever you want to do. So add item menu by the way it's going to require um, what's it called? Uh, UI extensions where it also supports, it also requires address library for SKSE plugins. Uh, maybe it doesn't, but I'm going to install add item menu. Cool. I think I have UI extensions already available. Let me turn it on. It's on. Fantastic. And uh, now we can just kind of download some stuff. We got to have some stuff to give people. Um, Got some swords here. Let me find some armor. 
Our most armor is a uh, skimpy as fuck, but here's some real armor, so I'm gonna download it. All right, well, I'm gonna download different armor because that one apparently makes your boobs show. That may have just been a body slide issue though, but I ran body slide on it. Let me grab different armor. All right, so if you want your person to have your favorite gear, um, also you can just find the form IDs if you want from like SSE edit. Um, I'm grabbing one of my very, very favorite, favorite uh, armor outfits. One of the DX ones, because they're awesome and sexy and amazing. Um, so here's one of the ways I do things. Um, and I, I recommend it, because you're probably going to want to like go shopping and have like your own little try-on to see what fits well. Like, um, download a bunch of mods and see what works well for you. So watch in the top left and we'll get our add item menu pack. So let's go in there. We've got nothing else in our inventory because we haven't configured our player to have anything. It's our player to do whatever we want. Uh, so I'm going to get the Dark Knight armor because I love it. I'm just going to to grab all of it. And let's grab the cuirass, the earrings, the gauntlets, the boots, and the amulet. Cute. Cool, there we are. Uh, so one of the things I'll do now is I just go to player show inventory. Uh, if there's anything I'm not wearing, I'll just drop it. So let's drop, 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 drop. If there's anything I don't care about, drop, drop. Now I can player show inventory. Um, get some spacing in here. And now everything that's worn here, you could write down the IDs if you want. Um, you could also just go to that mod in like SSE edit. And what we're really going to do, what I do is I just grab those IDs. And just like we did with the boots from the game, we just give them to our player. But I use add item menu so that I can grab stuff from different mods. I might have shoes from one mod, gauntlets from another, something from the base game, something from whatever. And I'll just use player show inventory to print out the IDs of everything I'm wearing. So you got to write down those IDs. They'll all start with like either FE something something or uh, just O2 something something, 16 something something. Uh, you only care about the number after those first two. Uh, a way to figure out for sure what the form IDs are is you could go like here I'm going to load the Dark Knight armor in SSE edit if you're familiar with SSE edit. If you're not, don't worry about it. It's not required at all. And I can go in here and I can go to armor. And here's a great reference. Great reference to get those IDs. Now here's an example. All of these start with O2 and we just ignore that O2 part. Um, so let's give our girl that outfit by default so that you know how to do it. Cool, let me open up SSE Edit. Um, I'm going to put this over here behind me. Can you see the numbers? Cool, you can both see the numbers. So let's give her the stuff. Um, let's um, um, da, 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 da. get actor reference dot unequip all. Just get rid of every anything she's currently wearing. Uh, get actor reference dot, and we're going to equip some things. Uh, we can just go through the list. So what we're going to do is we're going to use uh, game get form from file and you pass in the number like whatever that form ID is so like that first one is 010ADA except that zeros not O's comma whatever the name of the ESP is so in this case the ESP is DX Dark Knight Armor ESP so DX Dark Knight Armor ESP um, we don't have to be using form IDs. Uh, you could go and make your player depend on all of these mods and do all of this inside of Creation Kit. Um, it's really up to you. 
Um, and some people may find this a lot nicer in Creation Kit. Uh, here's why I say don't do it and do it with the form IDs. You're only going to do it once, so doing it with the form IDs is no big deal. Here's the thing, if you want to change what your player is wearing later, which you will, you're totally going to want to change what they're wearing. Um, if you use Creation Kit to add these items to your character, then your ESP plugin is going to be dependent upon um, like DX Dark Armor, Dark Knight Armor, and it's going to be a pain to get rid of that dependency. So just do it like this. It's really nice. We can just say actor get reference, equip item, and then we just put in an item. So I'm just going to go through the list here. I'm going to put this whole get form from file right inside here. Can you kind of see that okay? So it's like that. And I'm just going to copy a bunch of these. And we're just going to fill in these numbers right here. You see those numbers? We're just gonna fill in these numbers. So I want the boots. So I'm gonna do uh, 10ADA. And I want the gauntlet. So I'm gonna do 10ADD. Uh, I want the regular cross, the pants, the full pants. That's at the bottom. That's A6. A, 5B, I don't want the shorts version. That's stupid to fight in shorts. I want the amulet, so that's 60400, 60400. And I don't want the shield. I'll get the small earring, so I'll do A, 5, F, 95. A, 5, F, 95, and that's it. Uh, so we open up Raise Menu to fix everything. I move this uh, this out of the way for me. We open up Raise Menu to, to fix everything. Then we load our character preset that we made. Then we give them whatever we want. You could give them a bajillion gold. Let's also give them gold. Let's say get actor reference, uh, add item, uh, it's OXF for gold, comma, 10,000, whatever. And we can give them, uh, I don't know, a thousand lockpicks. I think that's A. Save, build, completion failed. Did I forget to cast something on 15? Add item, oh, these are uh, an idiot. Uh, game, get form. And we're not saying from file because we're getting those from the base game, Skyrim.esm. And you don't need to specify the file when it's Skyrim.esm. Let's go into the game. I'm going to close SSE edit so it'll let me go into the game. And if this all works, what we're going to end up with is our own character that we made that's not a Khajiit or an Argonian, which is nice, means the skin all works. Um, and has our own manual character preset that we made. And our own gear. Ooh, um, let's make it add these quietly. A B silent equals true. Remember we did that before. Equip item, the form, comma A B silent equals true. Otherwise, every time we load the game in the upper left corner of the game, it's gonna be like you got a bunch of boots and whatever and you just want when you coc into the game you just want to within a second be ready to go test your mod or whatever you're doing because you're cocing in as a modder or a mod author to do whatever so let's do one mississippi i didn't really make it to two mississippi we could have made the lock picks and the um gold silent as well uh, so we've got a thousand gold uh 10,000 gold, we've got a thousand lockpicks. You can see the gold behind me here. And let's see if we're wearing what we want. That's it. That's it. Let's go back in the game. Let's see, see somewhere else. We got our KS HDDT hairs. We got our whatever. We got our whatever. Um, 
and I'll do one last thing. So let's go to Solitude Winking Skeever. So we'll go wherever we want. There we go. I'm there and I've got this beautiful preset and I've got whatever items I wanted. And now if I wanted to, I could very easily turn off my character, turn on a different character with a different name, hop in the game. This character may have different gear. They may have a bunch of thievery stuff, or maybe they're a wizard. Um, you could probably change, uh, you could set them up so that when you hop in the game, it changes their skills or levels them up or whatever you want. Let's have this one go to Solitude Docs 01. And so I just went into Mod Organizer 2, could be Vortex, went check, check, and here we go. And now, uh, I should have my girl with the uh, other hair, but we configured it to be this instead. So we did this for testing. I'm gonna get rid of that Mralper too and go back to making it my mod, my Mralper. Don't mess up my Mralper. And uh, where do you wanna go, dude? Should we go to the docks again? Um, should we go to, um, I'm gonna go to Candle Hearth Hall. It's one of my favorite places. It's really annoying to type though. Not as bad as the corner club to type. Seriously, Wind Helm, Candle, Hearth, Hall. It's not nearly as easy to type as uh, um, White something? Run or something like that. Ta-da! Uh, the one thing that I did that uh, huh? we didn't do was... Let me turn on our character. I find this really useful and just... I like to see my character. Uh, so I do game, force third person. Now, when we go into our game, as our character that we made, where should we go? Uh, let's go to White Run Exterior 01, which is kind of by the stables. If you try to go to 02, it goes inside the city and you're like underwater. It's really weird. Um, White Run Exterior one. There you can see our girl. You can just automatically see our girl. I really like it. You can move the mouse around. She's got the cute earrings. She's good to go. I love it. I'm not going to steal a horse. Get your stupid horse by the way. Come on. It's a stupid place for a marker. That's it. We got our character. As you can imagine, you can use the scripting that you may already know or can learn in a series. Um, to like at skyrimscripting.com and the Skyrim Scripting YouTube channel to do whatever you want. Have multiple ESPs, so different mods for different characters. Um, or you could even use that input.tab key that we learned to navigate this. Uh, you can have it press the down key and then the left key to make it a dude who right now is invisible because of my skin setup, but then go left or right, and then up, and then over to race using the right key, down, 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 enter, and then uh, R, and whatever. So you can automate that stuff if you want to. So that's kind of it for this episode. Um, go make your character. Go make your character, customize the default scam, COC, player. There's no reason for that stupid Nord male guy anymore don't use him unless you want to use him he's stupid don't use him so thank you all and as always happy modding or happy modding everyone